Hello everyone and welcome to a Milk Toast Monday without Milk Toast. I am on vacation in the Mesa and I have Molly with me. Uh, Molly, come here. Hey, say hi. Say hi. What's, your nose is dripping. Go <laughs> oh, Molly. Paige is back at the hotel room because uh, Paige's favorite thing to do actually is to bark uh, at people who are walking by and this is like a meditative uh, hotel and so I don't want to uh, to interrupt everyone so she's happier back at the hotel room I've been having a great vacation I've been swimming a lot and we've been hiking um, I actually just got a haircut which you probably can't tell because it's still quite long <laughs> but I feel really bad because I was supposed to get Paige and Molly haircuts and there's a groomer here uh, that I really like and I left it to the last minute and I called and they were booked up for like all four days so Molly needs a haircut and a bath really really badly anyway in the last uh, milk toast Monday and I hope the audio is okay there is a creek uh, right here in front of me so hopefully it's good. Uh, in the last Milk Toast Monday, I said that I was going to do a Q&A and I brought my phone. Uh, so I'm going to look at the questions and answer them. Uh, so here we go. Okay, the first question is, what is your favorite dog breed? And obviously my favorite dog breed is not really a breed at all. Uh, my favorite dog breed is a mutt, a mixed breed, because I have three mixed breeds, if you count Polly, and I just think that they're like really interesting because you never know what kind of dog you're gonna get. What breed of cat is Milk? Because he is absolutely gorgeous. I know, thank you. I hit the jackpot when it comes to finding a stray cat uh, abandoned on the side of the road. Uh, it turns out Milk Toast is a, um, what is it called? Is he a lilac? I always confuse if it's lilac or violet. I think it's lilac, no, violet? Uh, Lynx Point Siamese is the actual name of the cat, which I believe is a combination of a lynx and, not a lynx, can you imagine? Uh, no, a combination of a uh, Siamese cat and a tabby cat. Oh, Molly has found a stick to chew. Molly, why are you chewing on a stick? You know what, I'm gonna let you do it. Happy vacation. Did I mention that there's a mesa cliff behind me? I feel like I didn't even mention that. Um, of course, I'm in my favorite place in the world. I'm in Mesa. I'm actually in Southern Utah, but there's lots of Mesa areas in like Arizona and Nevada and New Mexico. There it is, I'll zoom in. And maybe I'll put in some footage of us like hiking. We've been to some beautiful places. All right, just to zoom in on what you are seeing behind me, look at that. Look at those Mesa stripes. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Look at them. Ah, uh, Mesa, I love you. Oh, okay, when is the next Minecraft field trip coming out? So a lot of people have been saying that I'm here in a Mesa biome because I'm probably filming a Minecraft field trip. I am not filming a Minecraft field trip right now, although I promise you a field trip to the Mesa is definitely in order. It'll happen one of these days. Uh, the thing about the field trips, because I've seen a couple questions about like where is it gone, uh, that series takes a lot of time to plan. I have to usually find a cameraman and a sound person and you have to make arrangements to film uh, in all of these places uh, sometimes you even need permits if you're gonna film in like a national park you've got to book your airline your your hotel uh, you have to book any kind of like interviews with people so it t and then editing oh my gosh uh, the Minecraft parts take forever uh, editing all of the little like pop-ups and stuff take forever so um, there's not like one in progress right now like it was kind of like a big effort to get the first First one done and then I went back to working on my channel uh, I have one in mind that probably won't happen until the end of 2017 and it would be epic like epic um, but in the meantime I'm hoping to do one in the next couple of months um, don't hold me to that though it might not come out until like you know September um, but I'm hoping to do it sooner than that I'm hoping to do one soon any guesses I got Molly to sit on the hammock. What is your P.O. Box address? Okay, so I will put it in the description below. Please don't send me packages or gifts. Um, I prefer to get like letters 
or artwork um, because the packages tend to build up and then the postmaster general at the P.O. box that I have uh, gets angry at me. Uh, I am long overdue for a huge P.O. box opening, so hopefully I will do that very soon. Uh, when was your love of the Mesa born? Did you appreciate the natural beauty before Minecraft introduced it? I think so, because I grew up in Utah, and I grew up, um, you know, visiting like national parks, like Zion National Park and Bryce Canyon National Park, which are very Mesa-y. And then when I joined, I didn't even know about the Minecraft Mesa, I don't think, until I joined the cube. And I knew that there was a Mesa biome there, and so I was like, I'm gonna live there and build an archway. If you've been a viewer for a very long time, you might remember that. And, um, and yeah, I just, I think it's an awesome biome in, in Minecraft. It's true that no animals spawn there in Minecraft which is a problem uh, because there's a lot of animals here. Um, but uh, I, I think it's nice because you can get like lots of resources right away, like lots of clay to build things and that's what I love doing in Minecraft. So I love the Mesa biome, it's so colorful and um, it just reminds me of, of being here in Utah. When is Bookcraft coming back? Okay, so if you didn't see, I actually just put a uh, the third ever Bookcraft 360 video uh, up on my channel, um, which I'm super excited about. Those videos are really difficult to make. Um, they're not really difficult to make. I'm very slow at making them. <laughs> Basically, Bookcraft went on like over a year long break while the Walshirts build team was building Journey to the Center of the Earth. Uh, they weren't building it the whole year. They had college and stuff that prevented them from working on it, but uh, just recently was spring break and they built a lot of it and they said it's finished. So I would imagine that Bookcraft will come back pretty soon, like maybe within the month. Um, and then I, I really want to do like smaller books. Journey to the Center of the Earth was like a really big book and I couldn't work on it myself really. Um, so I, I think I'm going to choose different books going forward. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Bookcraft is this amazing world where I build things um, from, from really awesome books. And I did the three 360 videos so that you could kind of take a tour of the world. I'll leave a playlist below too uh, if you want to catch up because it's coming back for sure. Are you planning on making a new series? Um, yeah, I have a couple new series. Well, Bookcraft is coming back, but it'll basically be like a new series um, because I'm gonna be choosing uh, all new books to build things from. Um, but I'm working on um, a couple new series ideas. One potential new series with Grazer um, that will kind of like replace Mind Clash once and for all and hopefully make you guys very happy. Um, and then, uh, you know, I keep working on like a mermaid idea because I was really sad that that series ended. Um, it felt like it just was time to end it. Like we had accomplished everything that we initially set out to do in the series. Amy actually just moved. It just seemed like it was a good time to close that chapter, uh, but it really made me sad to do it. Um, it was one of the series that I just didn't want to end because I, I love that world. I love being a mermaid. Um, so I'm working on like some ideas. Where did the blue and white striped shirt come from? That's a really good question actually because I don't think I ever really like, I don't explain it in my videos. So if you're new, you just wouldn't even know. So originally when I first started playing Minecraft, I chose just like a random skin and it was a Katniss Everdeen skin uh, because when I first started playing Minecraft, I was playing uh, The Hunger Games. Somewhere along the way, I think it was back in like 2014, I thought, you know, I really should make my own Minecraft skin. And so I had someone, and I don't even know who, I would love to know who it was. If you're watching still, uh, reach out to me, please. I kind of adapted my current skin um, and like I made my skin a little bit lighter because it was kind of, um, orangey and I changed like my lip color and my eye color I made it green and then I was like well that that isn't the shirt that I would wear so like what shirt would I wear and I was like I don't really have like a favorite shirt that I always wear but I always tend to buy blue and white striped shirts uh, like I had like a dress that I used to wear that was blue and white striped um, 
anytime I would get like a swimsuit, it was usually blue and white striped. Uh, and I just really liked blue and white striped shirts. And so I was like, okay, I guess just make it a blue and white striped shirt. I had no idea that it would become like, you know, this thing that was so identifiable and that people would actually like, you know, dress up in costume as me with a blue and white striped shirt. I think that's really cool, but it, it was a totally just like, I don't know, just make it blue and white striped. I can't tell if Molly is really comfortable or just like completely petrified of the hammock. Okay, next question. Uh, do you have any new merch coming out soon? Oh my goodness, do I ever. So I think I've explained it several times, but I knew I needed to take a step back January, February, March and like take a vacation, uh, plan out some new series. And so I've kind of been like light on videos. Like I ended some series like Candy Isle and Mind Clash um, because not only was I like you know, relaxing and like gearing up for new stuff. Um, but I've also been working on merch, lots of new merch. I actually am partnering uh, with the company that does the backpacks and we're gonna start introducing like a lot more stuff. So it's super exciting. If there's anything that you've really, really wanted from me, let me know in the comments below what that is. But I think we'll have you covered. I'm, I'm planning a lot um, and so it should be out soon. What was your dream job when you were a little kid? So when I was a little kid I don't know can you even see the mesa behind me anymore like the lights the sun setting uh, when I was a little kid I really wanted to be a paleontologist and I had an encyclopedia of dinosaurs that I studied constantly and I I just wanted to, to like work I don't know if I wanted to like actually go on dinosaur digs um, although I did in college actually uh, in southern Utah in a mesa I don't know if I have any pictures from that Oh my gosh, I should try to, I won't be able to find one because I'm traveling, but I went on a dig in the, so I guess maybe that's where my love from the Mesa came from, from back then. Um, yeah, because there's so many dinosaur bones down here and they've recovered so many fossils from here. The Velociraptor is actually the one in the movie Jurassic Park uh, was patterned after the Utah Raptor. Um, which is actually a really interesting story because uh, Steven Spielberg said, oh no, the raptor needs to be like six feet tall, but raptors at the time had only been found to be like like four feet tall or something. But Steven Spielberg was like, has to be really, really tall. And then they found the Utah raptor. I think this is true, maybe it's not, um, which is six feet tall. And they almost named it Velociraptor Spielberg guy, but they didn't. It's a little fun fact for you. What was the question? Oh, dream job when I was little. Yeah, so I would say it was something to do. Maybe not actually digging up the dinosaurs, but working in a museum possibly, um, or working at a national park. I think that would have been probably like my dream job, but I'm, I'm perfectly happy doing what I'm doing now. I would say this is definitely my dream job, uh, but yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Did you think as a kid you would be a YouTuber? Well, no, because when I was a kid, YouTube didn't even exist. So, like, it never would have occurred to me at all. I think um, when I was a kid, I don't think I really knew what I was going to be when I grew up. But I will say, though, that I have done, like, video projects for a while. I can remember being in sixth grade and doing a video school project on uh, Egypt. And I have to find this video. I know my mom has it. Uh, but I actually like taped up all these hieroglyphics in this little cubby that I had under the stairs. I actually had a cubby under the stairs like Harry Potter. Um, it wasn't my bedroom or anything. It was just like my little play area that I could go. And I taped up hieroglyphics on the wall and I like dressed up as an explorer and I had a flashlight and I made this cringy video uh, that was like, you know, we found a tomb. Look at the look at the hieroglyphics on the wall um, and then like I also included information about you know the Egyptians into my report I'm sure that if YouTube had existed at the time I would have put it on YouTube and then maybe I would have become a youtuber um, I'll have to find that at some point because it's funny and it's like it's sort of proof that maybe maybe uh, maybe I would have you know thought of being a YouTuber if I was a kid, if YouTube existed. Okay, the next question is, are you planning to end any of your series anytime soon? Um, mm, I'm trying to think, no. <laughs> no, I just ended Mind Clash and The Candy Isle, so I think I'm good with ending series. Not ending Mystic Mesa anytime soon, there's so much to do. And Dogcraft is my oldest world, and it's the world that I love the most. Um, so no, I'm not planning on ending that anytime soon either. So, I think more series, or, or maybe not more series, but also I just need to do some more like 
non Minecraft videos maybe it's been a while I'm actually filming a collab with someone that I've never collabed with but they are in UHC and it is a non Minecraft video that I think you guys are gonna love it'll be out I'm not sure sometime soon in the next couple weeks probably <laughs> are you going to get a house like the one in Mystic Mesa funny you should ask that so I have this tendency of like manifesting things into my life via Minecraft so um, obviously I built the uh, the wooden cabin the Christmas cabin in Dogcraft and then I ended up buying a cabin that looks like almost identical like a little wooden it's called an a-frame cabin um, and then of course I had my cat milk toast in Minecraft for about a year before I actually found him in real life so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I actually did go look at some houses um, a couple days ago here in uh, the Mesa I'll put in some footage now and let me tell you moving to the Mesa is tempting I think it's really funny that the houses that I was like drawn to are the houses that have huge windows that overlook the Mesa because hello that's like what I've built in Minecraft and that's like my dream so I don't know you never know I might move to the Mesa but this is a good one how long does it take to record and edit a video so it really depends on the series but uh, so I would say like Mystic Mesa that's a pretty easy one because it, it only takes about maybe 40 minutes to record an episode um, and then it takes probably like well probably like another 40 to 50 minutes to edit that episode and then it takes probably another 40 minutes to export that episode and then another like you know well 40 minutes not to upload to upload is only about 10 minutes or five minutes but then to process all the way into HD um, whoa hi did you did I zoom in on you guys um, probably takes another 40 minutes so what is that like 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 um, so you can do the math like people think it's so easy to like film multiple videos in a day but it's really not and dogcraft actually takes even longer dogcraft takes like um, dogcraft usually takes an hour to just like work off camera and like prepare to record and then recording can take anywhere from like half an hour to like three hours depending on what I'm accomplishing in the episode um, and then I editing takes at least an hour on dog craft so a long time <laughs> a long time um, but when I play games like shelter it all just really depends um, but that's kind of hopefully gives you a little bit better of a sense when are you going to be using your new PC I should be using it already but I came on this vacation it's completely built um, and it's at my office I just need to kind of get ahead a little bit and so I have a few days of videos and then I'm gonna have them come and actually install it uh, well Molly what you doing gonna take a little while to learn how to record how to record my face cam for Mystic Mesa um, you know am I gonna start using Premiere Pro to edit that's what I use to edit my vlogs but it's not what I use to edit Minecraft so um, I'm hoping that definitely before like May but April is gonna like that's gonna be kind of like my transition month um, where I start to use the new PC which if, if you haven't been following will hopefully fix all of the lag that I experience in Dogcraft um, because of all of my dogs and all of the shaders and trees but also now in Mystic Mesa a little bit because the Pegasus I think actually lagged the world quite a bit um, because of their their wings people are looking at me do you want to get down you can get down get down get down there you go where's Polly <laughs> okay so if you don't know Polly is actually my dad's dog and I got her in between getting Paige and Molly. I was living very close to my dad at the time. I live close to my dad now, but uh, I didn't for the whole time I was in Los Angeles. And so when I moved to Los Angeles, I tried to convince him to give me Polly, and he would not because Polly's awesome. Um, and so that's when I got Molly. And then Molly and I moved to Los Angeles with Paige. Um, and I say that because um, I actually had taken Paige, I had gone to Los Angeles to find an apartment, and I would taken Paige to stay with my mom while I I like packed up everything and moved but while I was packing up I was like I'm gonna adopt another dog um, which was now that I think about it like the craziest thing to do especially because she had all these health problems because she had heartworm when I adopted her and we had to go through all these treatments um, and then I just like showed up in LA with Molly and was like surprise Paige and Paige was like worst surprise ever <laughs> she really she really doesn't love Molly uh, 
she tolerates Molly. She likes to play with Molly sometimes, so I like to think that she does. Molly truly is like a little sister to Paige. Like she loves her, but also she just is really, really annoyed by her and is like, I remember life without you and it was great. I deleted all my questions. How did I do that? What button did I hit? No! Okay, I found them. Um, okay, uh, what kind of animals have you seen outside the cabin? It's a very good question. I have not seen that many animals outside the cabin and I'm very upset about it. So basically outside the cabin I have seen, well I've seen deer lower down on the mountain but I'm quite high up on the mountain. So I have seen, I've seen a skunk. <laughs> I've seen a skunk. I've seen some tracks which I think are either belonging to said skunk uh, or possibly a rabbit or a raccoon. Um, I've seen a couple birds. I've seen a blue jay, I think. Well, I mean, it was a very blue bird. Um, and magpies. We have a lot of magpies. That's really all, but I'm hoping it was such a harsh winter um, and I really haven't been spending a lot of time up there um, beyond the winter. Like it was like November, October, no, no, November when I started living there a lot. So I'm hoping that in the spring we see a lot more animals. There's rumored to be a moose um, up near my house. I've never seen a moose, obviously. I would be very afraid to see a moose. Moose are beautiful, um, but they are like one of the deadliest. Remember the lady that I interviewed in the field trip series? I don't know if you watched episode two. Uh, she said that the only animal that she was scared of was the moose up there. And she's like with bears and wolves and lynx. So don't mess with the moose. Oh, what animals have you seen here? So I've seen a hummingbird, uh, I've seen uh, an eagle, either bald eagle or a golden eagle, probably a golden eagle, um, and I've seen quite a few quail, and uh, my mom saw a roadrunner, I didn't see the roadrunner, and I also saw a bunch of jackrabbits, so cute, I saw about three jackrabbits. Um, and then I've seen lizards too, but I don't know what kind of lizards they are. They're just like small lizards. Oh, and a little frog. I don't think I videoed him. He was right by my front door in the hotel. He was so, he was like this small. He was the cutest little frog. So, so far, quite a few animals actually. Oh, and I Instagrammed on the way down here in a place called CPO Utah. There's a petting zoo and they had this, um, a lot of people thought it was an okapi, but I think it's just a, a zonkey, like a zebra donkey and an alpaca. I Instagrammed a picture of that. I'll put it here probably. You should follow me on Instagram. It's Stacy Grams. When will Mermaid Mondays premiere again? Um, so I don't know the answer to your question. I'm hoping summer, but it will not be called Mermaid Mondays. This is now Milk Toast Mondays, even though he's not here. Um, or it's like Monday with Milk Toast, I'm not sure. Milk Toast Monday or Monday with Milk Toast? Maybe I'll make a poll. Maybe I'll forget to make the poll. Uh, <laughs> but um, it won't be on Mondays. It'll probably be on a different day. I don't know which yet. Uh, but I don't know. I don't even know what the series is yet. I haven't decided. All I know is that I want to continue to do something with the mermaid mod and all of my current pets. So I don't know what it is yet, but I hope to have that figured out and then it's gonna take me a while to film it. Um, so, I, you know, I, I don't wanna have a premiere date, but if it's not up by like June, then you should yell at me and you can and I will understand. I might cry, but I will understand and I will be like, no, they're, they have every right to yell at me because I said, I said June. I shouldn't, I should edit this out, but I'm, I'm not going to. <laughs> Here's a good question. Is Molly still afraid of her water dish? I don't know if I've ever properly vlogged it, but Molly has so many quirks. So many quirks. She's she's scared of like her shadow. Um, she's not scared. She's not a scared dog, but she's scared of her water dish for some reason. And it's actually been a little bit of a drama here at the hotel because I didn't bring her normal water dish and I was just like, well, she's going to drink if she's thirsty enough. Uh-uh, not Molly. I almost had to go get like Pedialyte from the grocery store because she was so dehydrated the, like the second or third day because uh, we're hiking um, and she refused to drink. Finally, when I put it into the stainless steel dish instead of the rubber dish, um, I was using the stainless one for their food, then she drank. And then like a day later, she drank out of the rubber one. So it was like, what's the problem, Molly? She'll like work, she'll cry and then she'll like have to work herself up to go and drink water. And then once she drinks water, she'll drink for like a whole minute. Such a weird dog. Is Noob Quest coming back to the channel? Um, 
yeah, at some point it'll definitely come back, but like it'll come back to end, if that makes sense. There's a bunch of games that I've always said I will finish and I never have, and I still, that's still my intention, is to finish them at some point. So Noob Quest will come back, I don't know for how many episodes, but it won't come back as like one of my series, my regular series. It'll just come back and like I'll finally finish it and kill the Ender Dragon. I'm just so bad at Xbox Minecraft. I'm just bad at Xbox in general. Like, I'm just not a controller type gamer. Um, like, I was good at Mario Kart growing up, but I, I just don't play on controllers a lot. And I, one of the things I love most about Minecraft is building, and for me, that's just so easy to do on the computer. Uh, so, like, building, I don't know how Stampy does it. I've always told him I don't know how you do it. You have to, like, train your hands to behave that way. I cannot build in Minecraft. On Xbox so if I continue the series it would be pretty boring because I would just like stand around um. <laughs> ah will you write a book maybe maybe that's what I'm doing here on vacation how do you get to your shop and what is your P.O. box? So I put the P.O. box down in the description, but my shop is shopstacyplays.com. There's not a whole lot there. I put some items for sale, so go check them out. Um, but there, that's where all of the products will be um, in the next couple of weeks, months. Uh, that's where we're gonna be introducing lots of new products shopstacyplays.com. Will you move to the cabin full time? I will be moving up to the cabin now once I come back from vacation because it's finally stopped snowing. That was basically the only reason that I haven't moved to the cabin in the last like four months is because there is a very literal threat of getting actually snowed in. Like snowed in, snowed in. And since I can't make my videos there, um, I can't take that risk of getting snowed in because then I just like wouldn't be able to update my channel. So if you were wondering, is it gonna rain? Um, that's why I haven't like lived at the cabin full time. I saw some comments that were like, you only go there on the weekends? For now, yes. But uh, I think in the next couple months, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up there and basically live there and just drive down to my office because the, you know, I'm not snowed in anymore, which is, which is really, really nice. Okay, last question. Out of all the animals in Mystic Mesa, who would you choose to exist in real life? That is such a hard question because I have all of the Stacy's wolves. Um, so I'm gonna pick one animal that's not Stacy's wolves and then one Stacy's wolf. Um, I think I would pick Poganip out of all of the non-animals. I've got like Poco and Echo and um, Poganip and Sycamore and Hilo and Ralph and S'mores and all of my horses. Uh, but I, I love Poganip. He was my first Pegasus in the Mesa and I just would love to have him here. I would love to actually get on a Pegasus and fly over the Mesa. That would be incredible. Um, so then out of Stacy's wolves, which wolf would I choose to exist in real life? I kind of feel like I would choose my Cloud Wolf because he would just be like so cuddly. I feel like he would just be like this pillow that I could um, just, you know, relax on. Or my cake wolf, because I feel like I could just like take my finger and like just like pet her and get some frosting and then just, would that be weird? I don't think that would be weird. I think she'd be okay with it. Anyway, that's, that's the answer to that. Oh, that was it. That was all the questions. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Um, this was so fun. I wanted to do it as a live stream, but I was scared that I would mess it up. So maybe in the future, we'll do another one of these. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to do that. And yes, goodbye from the Mesa. Uh, I will be back. I'm traveling home tomorrow, which is today when you're watching this video. And I can't wait to see Milk Toast again. I miss him so much. He will be back here next Monday. Uh, but until then, Milk Toast loves you. Go rescue a cat.